Labour Party Peter B's campaign has been gaining momentum since he was announced presidential candidate of the party. He's been particularly popular with the youth and on social media. And across the country, Labour Party candidates and aspirants have been trying to replicate that popularity. We're now being joined by a governorship aspirant of the Labour Party in Imo State and the U.S.-based attorney, Libo Aguara. Very warm uh, welcome to Newsnight. And this is why you. you want to fire the first shot. <laughs> thank you so much for being on the news tonight. Well, thank you for inviting uh, me. Just to ask, I mean, campaigns are gradually going to a halt. I mean, they're about to end. How would you describe Peter Obi's campaign so far? I mean, he was one person seen as a social media phenomenon. Uh, do you still think he's that? Or he's gone beyond that? Or was he even ever that? I never thought he was that. <laughs> so I don't know why, you know, well, what did you expect from his uh, competitors? Uh, but uh, Peter has done something that uh, literally I don't think any other politician uh, has been able to accomplish uh, in Nigeria, or a matter of fact, in Africa. Uh, he, he left the PDP uh, not quite eight months ago, and uh, based on the many uh, indicators that we look at, he's the leading candidate right now. Uh, so uh, anyone that tells you that he was a, a social media darling uh, hasn't seen one of his rallies, okay? And uh, no other politician in the history of Nigeria has, has been able to pull uh, so many people and the type of uh, crowds that uh, he's been able to pull in the southwest, south, east, south, south, or the north. So uh, he's, uh, he's ending uh, with a bank, a and we hope that he'll become the next uh, president of Nigeria. Well, uh, the most, uh, some political pundits, you know, will put it that uh, the crowd at uh, political rallies or campaigns mm -hmm. don't determine the outcome of, of the election and the rest. And uh, some of them, some of the uh, competitors or contestants to PLB, as they say, is still a social media you know, galvanizer, and that uh, does not uh, make the structure, the political structure. Well, they, they can't criticize him on the issues, okay, because his positions are out there and they can't compete with that. So what else do you expect them to say, okay? So we wait until Saturday and see what happens. Now, about, I think, close to 9 million young people registered to vote because of Pitobi, okay? Uh, a lot of people, even the, the uneducated people, okay, have gotten the message. And there's been a lot of uh, uh, on the ground work done by people in the north, in all corners of Nigeria. People have been educated on how to vote for LP, the Labour Party. Uh, we believe that there's going to be uh, a political revolution, okay, by the end of Saturday. And the Nigerians will be pleasantly surprised that there will be a new president elected by the people. And, and we want to give thanks okay, uh, to the current administration for making sure that there will be a free and fair election, uh, especially in Lagos, where we've seen the presence of troops uh, to make sure that uh, people in Lagos are allowed to vote. Uh, we, we think that Peter may actually win Lagos. Mm, interesting. <laughs> yes, over 9 million new um, Nigerians registered to vote in this election, over 70 percent of those were young people. But of course, uh, analysts and other political parties will argue that all of those young people are not for uh, Peter or B or Labour Party alone, and it's going to be a spread. But let me ask you, what are your concerns going into this election? Any concerns? Yes. Okay. The, um, the, 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 there are certain the pulling boots in the rural areas in the north, we're, we're a bit concerned about. Now, we've heard some uh, uh, stories about uh, APC members going around purchasing people's uh, PVC numbers. Allegations. Mm. Exactly, okay? <laughs> we don't know if those because, are true or not, but we- you're a lawyer, so you must put things in perspective. I, I, I understand, but we heard from people who actually testify that they were actually called and that people approached them and wanted to give them a certain amount of money Okay, uh, in return for uh, telling them their PVC numbers. We don't know what they would do with that information. So there, there are a lot of, uh, this is the first time that the BVAS will be used on the presidential, okay, uh, in the presidential election. So uh, we expect problems. However, we still think that uh, 
P2P will be elected the next president. All right. I mean, the confidence seems uh, to be growing uh, now and again and the rest. And <laughs> you don't seem to be looking at the caliber yeah. of the other candidates. But when you look at um, Nigeria, you know, of uh, over 300 uh, ethnic groups and uh, almost uh, twice that uh, uh, the language spoken and the rest, what will be the overriding factor uh, to be employed in unifying the broken you know, all the cracks in the world of unity. I think this is a, it's an issue that uh, uh, Governor B has actually addressed quite a few times. Uh, his candidacy is not based on uh, his tribal uh, or okay, geographical think, region. Yeah. Okay? Uh, he's running because he has what it takes. He has, as he says, he has the character, the competence, the experience, okay? and the I mean, the uh, uh, moral Okay, uh, fortitude that the person in that office actually needs. Now, I really don't want to really focus on, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Tunibu or Atiku Abubaka, but I mean, when you look at the three, we d we don't want you to take our word for it. Look at what their some of their own people are saying about them. Okay, whether it's uh, their former supporters who are no longer supporting them. Okay, whether it is uh, former President Obasanjo telling you about Atiku Abubakar. So it's, it's, don't take our word for it. Listen to either their, their former colleagues, their he's supporters. Only, he's only an individual and uh, well, well, <laughs> he, he has his vote. Well, we've former yeah. President Obasanjo say so many things about Atiku. And in 2019, he didn't make a U-turn. <laughs> and uh, endorsed him. Endorsed him over uh, incumbent President. Well, well he saw him as a, 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 a smaller devil compared to who well, he was running against. I don't know. He didn't, he didn't change positions, though. <laughs> but we do wish you, we do wish your party the best. Yeah. Uh, Libo Aguara. Mm. Uh, he's from the Labour Party. Uh, one time aspirant. Well, yeah, he's, that, still, uh, he's still aspiring uh, well, uh, for Imo, Imo 2024, isn't it? Yes, oh, okay. Okay, which comes much later, but okay. uh, that's something not for this time. It will be, be, be nice to have once, you again yes, around that you. time. Once we get Peter elected, <laughs> then we can discuss that. When Great. you emerge your candidate, okay? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much for having me.